Well, if you like offense, you're tuned into the right ball game today because we're going to see it on both sides of the field. Both these teams have put up impressive numbers. Statistically, the offensive story for Brigham Young looks like this. Almost 500 yards in total offense, averaging over 42 points per game. Lee, what kind of a look can we expect to see from the Cougars today? A true multiple look, and again, more multiplicity today because you will see Jim McMahon right here throwing the ball from the shotgun as well as the multiple T. And what can we say about Jim McMahon, the greatest story in NCAA history? Just underway with no score. First possession for either team. They're blitzing again, and they have him. Back around the 16 or 17-yard line. McMahon can do nothing about it. Mies gets it away. A nice high-hanging spiral. Nobles at the 35-yard line. Breaks a tackle. Slips and falls as he tries to cut back. But excellent field position and a superb return by Noble. On the draw, Don Roberts, the ball carrier, breaks one tackle, fumbles. BYU has recovered inside their 20-yard line. Number 47, Todd Shell fell on the football. Scott Pettis breaks through a hole. Across the 30, a first down for BYU at the 31-yard line. The ball very near where it was in the previous possession, the 31-yard line. throw. Flips it over the middle of the tight end. Number 95. Crosses Gordon Hudson and Hudson is going to go all the way unless he's caught from behind. Vernon Dean hauls him down at the two-yard line. First and goal. BYU just inside the three-yard line. Wayman Hamilton, touchdown Cougars. That's how fast it can change. It was San Diego State knocking on the door, a 67-yard pass play. Jim McMahon to Gordon Hudson, his tight end. It is third down and about a foot. Kofler passing. Chased again. Has the first down. Finally, he's run out of bounds on the far side. Second down and four. San Diego State at their own 43. Kofler over the middle and complete to Darius Durham. Durham has a first down in BYU territory. Finally has run out of bounds on the near side, near the 41-yard line of the Cougars. Second down and nine. That's called being 0 for 2. <laughs> Bull Williams trying to get to the outside, dragged down from behind. Maybe a yard or two gained is all. A 43-yard attempt. And I think it's going to be short and way to the right. I don't think he hit that one very well. Meyer just missed it. It's no good. Neil Ballholm in motion through the formation as McMahon drops back. Complete to Hamilton out of the backfield. Hamilton gets the block. Fighting for yardage. He has a first down at the 41-yard line. The blitz is on again. McMahon dumping it off over the middle, and it's complete to Hamilton. Wayman Hamilton getting it down inside the 10 to about the 6-yard line. First and goal, Cougars at the Aztec 6. McMahon on the slant in, touchdown, BYU. Dan Plater, his number one receiver, made the reception in the end zone. And it's another Cougar touchdown, another TD pass, McMahon to Plater. Just outside the 25 for the Aztecs who need to get something moving. They've moved the ball fairly well, missed a field goal, and drove deep and turned it over on a fumble. Sacked in the backfield is Kofler, breaking through very quickly. Number 59, Kyle Whittingham, who has just so far played a superb football game. BYU has jumped out to a 14-0 lead over the San Diego State Aztecs. McMahon to draw play to Wayman Hamilton. Hamilton breaking through. First down, BYU as he falls forward near the 30-yard line of San Diego State. First and 10 Cougars at the 31 of the Aztecs as McMahon drops straight back. Blitz. And it's complete. Yes. Neil Ball home, number 89, with a nice sliding reception in front of number 23, Vernon Dean. A good testimony to the strength of his arm as well as he was off balance when he fired that pass. First and 10. Over the middle. Complete. Kozlowski, touchdown, BYU. First and 10, 
from the BYU 48. Over the middle and complete. Ellis, number 18, out of the backfield, and Ellis fighting for yardage gets a first down near the 35. Second down and 20. Just outside the 45. Kofler under pressure again. Gets it off complete. But the hit is made immediately by Kyle Whittingham on Darius Durham. First and 10's a passing situation. That's right. Why wouldn't second and 23 or 4? McMahon over the middle. Complete to ball home at the 39-yard line. Third down and about five and a half yards to go. 138 remaining in the half. Looking long, firing long, Clater intercepted by Vernon Dean. Vernon Dean bringing it back upfield at the 30. Breaks another tackle, run out of bounds at midfield. A penalty marker is thrown at the end of the play on the near sideline when Vernon Dean was bumped out of bounds. That ball, Cupper looked to be just a little bit underthrown. That is the first pass of the day that Jim McMahon has thrown poorly. Flipping it over the middle to Darius Durham, complete. Durham is ahead to the 39 before he's hauled down. This will be the second time the Aztecs have gone for it on fourth down. That's what Matt Kofler was telling us the other day. He has a coach now who loves to see that scoreboard light up. And yet to do that today. Kofler being chased. Looking for a receiver, finally hauled down at about the 48 or 47 yard line of San Diego State. Pulisila Filiunga was in there, number 73. One timeout remaining. McMahon is not going to stall around, and a penalty marker goes down as Vernon Dean hit the intended receiver right in the back. Dan Plater made the reception anyway, I believe just inside the 35. First down, 40 seconds remain in the half. Complete. Dan Plater again, running for the sideline. He will not make it. Cut down at about the 33-yard line. Second down and about seven yards to go. 25 seconds left on the clock. In the first half, McMahon firing again. Intercepted by Vernon Dean. Vernon Dean with his second interception as he cut right in front of the intended receiver, Scott Colley, and hauled it in at the 14-yard line. The statistics from the first half of play. The Cougars dominating, really, in just about every statistical category. First and 10, San Diego State, the ball at their 16-yard line. Actually, the 17. Kofler. Nicely thrown ball to Phil Smith. He almost broke it. At the 44-yard line of San Diego State. Second down and 10. San Diego State just inside their own 45. The fake to Roberts. Kofler looking over the middle and deep. Incomplete. Intended for Darius Durham. They're going for it on fourth down and about a half a yard. They need to get across the 45. Fogel will not make it. He will lose yardage as the BYU defensive line. David Ophew, number 44, the linebacker coming in. Kyle Whittingham, Brandon Flint. First and 10 Cougars just outside their own 45. They lead 21-0, 10-13 remaining in the third quarter. McMahon firing again and completing on the far sideline to Dan Plater, who's bumped out of bounds, not before he picks up 12 yards and a first down. But look at the numbers now on Jim McMahon as he approaches another 300-yard game. Loss of six. Second down, 16. Over the middle, complete to Kozlowski. First down. Nine minutes remaining in the third quarter. It's 21-0 Cougars. The Aztec defense really being put to the test. Scott Pettis, the ball carrier, gets a block and tries to get to the outside. Does and gets to the 25, inside the 25, near the 23. It is first and goal for Brigham Young University inside the nine-yard line of San Diego State. The blitz is on. McMahon beats it. Hudson, touchdown Cougars. Mike Fox had a hold of Hudson right after the reception. But the strength of the big tight end pulled him into the end zone. Kurt Gunther on to attempt the extra point. 
No good. Still uses a 4-3 defense. Second down and 16. Flint again putting pressure on Kofu. Can't find anybody open, so he's going to run with it. And he gets it back across the 20. That's all right. Mike Jeslin just does get it away. They knock him down, and a penalty marker will be thrown as the punt goes out of bounds near midfield. Roughing the kicker will be the call against the Cougars of BYU, and the Aztecs of San Diego State will retain possession. There were three or four white-shirted defensive players in there, as you see. Kofler faking, firing over the middle of the tight end. Jessup, nice catch. Jessup into BYU territory, down to the 37. Second and six. Quarterback draw, Kofler, nice move, close to the first down as he gets it near the 27. The Aztecs mounting one of their few scoring threats. First down. See the board light up? How about that? Kofler under pressure again, runs out of the pocket. Breaks another tackle, dives inside the 20 to the 18. Third quarter. Kofler slips and falls back outside the 20-yard line at about the 23, covered there by Mike Morgan, number 77, a 260-pound junior defensive tackle. Lavelle Edwards, he's won 80 games in 10 seasons at BYU. Kofler on the bootleg, running all the way. Inside the 15, breaks another tackle inside the 10-yard line. Touchdown! Chevy players to be announced before the game is over. On second and ten, McMahon over the middle, incomplete again intended for Dan Plater. Number 50, Bill Fairbrother, along with number 21, Dave Crotip, were both there at 35. Another fine punt by Meads. Nobles at the 36. Hauled off his feet by number 49, John Ramage, who was down there very quickly. 27-7 BYU and NCAA college football will continue after this commercial message, as well as a word from the station. Kofler may have been audibleizing as he took a lot of time. Dumps it off over the middle of Craig Ellis out of the backfield. Ellis with a nice move. Has the first down at the 40-yard line at BYU. First and 10, San Diego State at the BYU 40. Batted down at the line of scrimmage and intercepted. Picked off in the secondary, number 35, Mike O'Neill. Chuck Ian, number 78, got a big hand up and batted that ball out of the air. O'Neill coming up with a diving interception. Second and 10 from the 39. Lots of time for McMahon. Complete to Scott Colley. Colley at the 41 of San Diego State. The Jim McMahon with that completion is now over the 300 yard mark. More to come. Wayman Hamilton on the draw play, can't get away. Bill Fairbrother, number 50, was right there to meet him in the hole, along with number 51, Alan Dale. Kozlowski going in motion. Scott Colley wide open. Bush chasing him and runs him out of bounds. McMahon, little timing pattern to Plater, cannot get it. Overthrown. As Plater was covered once again by Vernon Dean, and it'll be a 25-yard attempt. No good. He missed it to the right. Didn't allow for enough hook. <laughs> I'm not going to tell, though. <laughs> First down. Kofler with lots of time. Over the middle. Complete to Ellis again. Ellis can't get away from the grip of two BYU defenders. On the game. Carry along with his older brother Kyle. Pressure from behind. Brandon Flint, number 99, 240 pound defensive end from Layton, Utah. Remember, a $1,000 scholarship in those players' names will be awarded to their schools on behalf of Chevrolet. That scholarship going to the school's general scholarship fund. Jim McMahon and Vernon Dean. Time has run out here in San Diego. Time ran out, unfortunately, for San Diego State a long time ago as Lavelle Edwards comes over to congratulate his former offensive coordinator, Doug Scoville, the head coach of San Diego State. We hope to get a word with Jim McMahon, our BYU Chevrolet Most Valuable Player. So stay with us. We'll be back to also wrap up what else is happening in college football in just a minute.